Hey, a pleasant good day, everybody. This is Sports Fanatic News. I'm Joe Boric, and this is going to be reacting to the Kraken picking and extending Adam Larson. Of course, yesterday in the pre-draft, it was already rumored and pretty much certain that they were going to pick him. And I said how that was a good move because with Hayden Flurry and Mark Giordano, he's compared well with two peas in a pod with either one of those two lefties that they selected on the right side, just playing great defense. And last year, that is exactly what he did. For the Edmonton Oilers, after they acquired him from the Devils oh so many years ago, they wanted these elite defensive analytics and also just regular surface defensive number from Adam Larson, and they got that from him last year. So it's very unfortunate with bringing in Duncan Keith for their team, as I also said in the video yesterday, that they're unfortunately not going to have him because he would have paired swimmingly with Duncan Keith. But he's a guy that can really help out young guys as well ergo Hayden Flurry to really develop from the left side, who's a great guy with a lot of good skating speed that can get up and back very quickly. So having a good defensive defenseman that knocks the puck off of players very effectively. And actually, especially when he was with the Devils at one time, was a little bit more consistent with that first pass out of the zone than he was with the Oilers in his time there. Maybe you can start getting that going a little bit from him, but you know you're getting elite defensive numbers from Adam Larson coming in from last year, and before that, good defensive numbers. So you're getting a guy that you know is a good, steady defensive defenseman, more of a probably second-pairing defenseman than a steady Eddie first-pairing defenseman. But for now, if you have him on your first pair, there's no shame in that because he can definitely play that. He can definitely play upwards of the 20 minutes a night if he needs to. But he's definitely a great guy to fit in to have with Hayden Flurry and or Mark Giordano to pair with them there. And you got him for a very affordable contract. To have anybody in your top four of your defense and pay them $4 million or less, he's exactly at $4 million on the dot for a four-year deal. Um, that is a very, very, very good value and a very good contract because as long as he keeps aging gracefully, and he continues to put up these defensive numbers and continues to perform, especially closer to last year than the past years when he still had good to very good defensive numbers. In some years last year, they were just elite. If he performs close to last year every time and has more seasons like last year in this four-year deal, this is a steal then because you have one of the best defensive defensemen per his numbers last year. Yes, he still makes some of those goofy uh, slides off his stick and he turns it over plays because he's not the most efficient passing defenseman, like I said. But at one time, when you look at his scouting report, if you read some scouting reports from him out of the draft, people did say he had some of the passing ability that he just had inconsistencies there. And you saw that a bit with the Devils when he had earlier in his career 18 points when he was on the Devils and 24 points in 14-15 with 21 assists. He just hasn't been that blessed other than when he had 17 assists in 18-19. Um, with the Edmonton Oilers on the offensive side of it. So maybe you can pull some things out of him there. But in my opinion, to wrap up this video, it was a very good signing. He pairs very well with either Hayden Flurry and or obviously Mark Giordano, who's going to be the face of your franchise for now until you bring in a younger face of your franchise because, of course, Giordano's 38 years old, but he's a captain, a great leader, and a great guy to have in-house. Just as Adam Morrison is also a great leader, a guy that can easily be an assistant captain for you, and another guy that you probably picked and signed for four years because you envision him being a guy that keeps taking more and more of a leadership role once Mark Giordano continue to move on since he is 38 if he only plays for another two years or so. But again, great signing coming off of his uh, best years. If you follow Jay Fresh Hockey on Twitter, he tweeted about it. He clearly had his best defensive numbers last year, face value and analytically. So this is a very good value contract and a very good move for the Seattle Kraken. Stay tuned as I react to more contracts the Seattle Kraken signed, like, for example, the Chris Drigger contract and Jamie Alexia contract once I release those videos. But this has been a reaction to the Kraken signing Adam Larson. I would give this contract an A and the pick of him an A as well. Very smart move to bring into a young team. A leader, a veteran that is a very good defensive defenseman that mixes in with the good young guys you picked as well as Mark Giordano. So you cannot go wrong with that pick. Everybody stay safe out there. Have a great, safe, and pleasant day. And please subscribe here at Sports Fanatic News if you enjoy the content. And also for more great hockey content, if you're a Flyers fan, subscribe over at Flyers Nitty Gritty and at Steel Flyers as well. Peace out, everybody, and stay safe.